there is something very shady going on. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video today, I'm gonna talk about a guy called Alex Belfield. He was at the top of his game as a BBC radio star, but the former presenter could go to jail after being found guilty of stalking four broadcasters that include Jeremy Vine. Could this be a grudge of some sort? What is going on with Alex Belfield? Watch till the end to know exactly what's happening, but before that, here's a little backstory. Alex is no doubt a great guy and a very talented host, and that's the reason why his YouTube channel Alex Belfield, The Voice of the Reason, is a great hit. He joined YouTube back on the 6th of January 2007, however he made his first upload about 13 years ago. Today he has more than 360,000 subscribers and has more than 6,300 videos on his channel. I know that you might be confused about how a man can leave his job at BBC and pick YouTube instead, and if someone does prefer YouTube, why not both? Statistics say he only makes $2,000 a month from YouTube ad revenues. Alex is from Nottinghamshire and he started a career as a part of the launch team of Radio 106 and that was more than two decades ago. He also launched a website back in 2012 and has been producing content for it. He's done a lot in life and between 2004 and 2010, he appeared on radio stations like Mercia FM, BBC Bristol, BBC Radio Shropshire, and BBC Hereford and Worcester. I think it's a hate crime. I mean, the dude is onto them with all his journalistic skills and some shady stuff. It was on Friday, the 5th of August, when Alex was found guilty of two counts of stalking that involved serious harm and distress and two other counts of simple stalking at the Nottingham Crown Court after a month-long trial. He was accused of eight counts of stalking, but he wasn't found guilty in half of it. He'll be sentenced on the 16th of September. This is what Cheryl Monk, a district Crown prosecutor, has to say. Stalking is a very serious crime that has a severe impact on its victims. Alex Belfield's conduct in the form of messages, broadcasts, insults, and threats left his victims fearful and anxious. Victims feared for their families and gave accounts to the jury of the terrible impact of Belfield's abuse on their private lives. Throughout this trial, victims and other witnesses have given evidence with dignity, and I'd like to thank them for their willingness to give evidence. Alex Belfield had no qualms about the abuse he handed out in many cases publicly. The extent of his abusive behavior provided clear evidence that this conduct was stalking. This was such a bad case of stalking that Jimmy Vine, the presenter of BBC Radio 2 and Channel 5, wept in court. He went on to say that Alex trolled over the death of his father, and Alex's stalking made him lose sleep, and he was scared that Alex might do something to his family. If I see his channel description, there says, it is a channel that offers daily news and topical content and also adds no hate to it with Frank's mass debate and words like real and honest. I don't think honest people stalk other people. I have no idea what's going on, but it seems very dreadful. I mean, Vine has a paranoia now to the point where he has put Belfield's picture in the hallway, warning his daughters asking them to stay away from him. Alex Belfield began his war against the BBC after they failed to renew his contract at BBC Radio Leeds in 2011, and they did the right thing. His actions have caused serious alarm and distress among his victims, mainly Bernie Keith and videographer Ben Hurst, and he's not stopping there. Man, people are struggling already. Why does he have to make things harder? This ferocious and relentless abuse, that's what they said, is causing emotional and mental harm to your fellow ex-colleagues. And during the verdicts, he was emotionless, a total creep, and Belfield, during the trial, also made some very distressing and gratuitous allegations about his former colleagues. Nothing is sure until September 16th, but chances are he might get a custodial sentence. He has no evidence to prove himself, and so I'm pretty sure he's gonna pay a hefty price. What do you think about Alex Belfield? Do you think what he did was good? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.